Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about church acoustics. We get a lot of calls from churches, probably five, six a week. And you all have the same problem. So I, I want to walk through all the items that I usually discuss with people on the phone about their churches. So the first goal that we must consider with churches is speech intelligibility, because we have spoken word and we have a musical word. So we have to be able to hear the spoken word, and we also have to hear the musical word through something called music intelligibility. Now, there's no such thing as that term. There is a term called speech intelligibility, but music intelligibility, no such term, but I think it illustrates what we're after here. Because speech and music in a large room require different types of treatment. We have to add more, usually, when we're dealing with music, because it's greater amplitudes. So the bottom line here is we have two things we have to take into consideration, speech and music, okay? So we all know from videos that our larger rooms have more volume and they create more reverberation. So a lot of people think it's echo, but it's not, it's reverberation. So reverberation smears speech and smears music. So we have to be really careful here. The larger the room, the less low frequency problem, but the more middle and high frequency problem. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the definition of all these reflections off the surfaces of the room is called reverberation. And that's that RT60 number that you always see. So we want to get a lower number, you know, in the one, one and a half, two second range to make speech and music work in the same room, okay? Also depends on volume, so these are general guidelines. I'm just trying to illustrate straight the issues here. Obviously, each church, each room size, each usage is different. So, our first goal is always to treat the offending surfaces. It's the walls in the church. It's the ceiling in the church that are causing the problem. If we could get rid of those and go outside, it would be easy but we can't, so we have to treat the offending surfaces. So, rear wall is the first primary offender, usually, because it's that reflection back across the audience. And then, side walls is next, ceiling is third, so all surfaces contribute to the problem. And the problem in churches is we have lots of glass, so we have to treat large surface areas, and we can't really treat the glass people usually don't want to cover up the windows. So even temporarily, they don't. They like them open, and I guess I understand that, but nothing could be worse than acoustic, as you should know from past videos, with glass. It's the worst surface to have in any uh, audio environment. So treatment, what kind of treatment? We're gonna use mainly two to four inch thick panels. Okay, foam is gonna be the technology of choice because it starts at a low enough frequency that if we make it thicker, we can even go lower, okay? If we don't need to go lower, we can stay with a thinner piece and keep costs down. Obviously, if we go thicker, costs increase. But we're gonna need 60 to 70% coverage in the church. So our rear wall, our side walls, our ceiling, 60 to 70 percent coverage, and, and this is the problem. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to cover up that much surface area. Well, you have to treat the offending surface area, and that's the cause of the problem. If you're not willing to treat the offending surface area, you've got to live with the problem. Now, maybe you can treat some of the offending surface areas and live with the rest. That's on a case-by-case -case basis. So, 60 to 70 percent surface area coverage, we have a program for churches. Most budgets run 5 to 15K for the average size church. We have a program for churches where we do the design for free, and then we sell you the technology at a reduced price, the foam technology, carbon technology if you, if you have a band or some live venues. And then there's usually some member in the congregation that has a carpentry skill set, and they'll build it for you. We provide the plans and the assistance. So, we can get, usually in most budgets, if you can get the labor done on your end. So we'll help you, we'll work with you, we won't charge you the design fee, 
and we'll get the required amount of material that you use, the type, amount, and positioning of it, and then give you the drawings and you can build it and install it on your end. Hope this helps. Just remember with churches, larger volume rooms, large surface areas, large amount of treatment. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.